What's up guys, welcome back to Classic Octane. I am Taylor, today we are back to the Barn to Brat project. Uh, this bike is actually just about done, so today's gonna be the last final tweaks. I'll show you what tires we went with, and then turn signals, and we'll give the whole bike a once over, but we're really, really close to being done. We'll start off with showing you guys the tires I went with. As you know, we skipped the knobbies and we're gonna keep those for another project down the road. These are Dunlop K70s. Uh, they have a really nice vintage feel uh, with a, you know, not a super aggressive tread, but also not like a, a modern street bike tire. So I think they actually fit the bike really well. Um, I think I went with a pretty good sizes too. You could probably go up a little bit in size, but these are uh, 400, 18 and a 325.19. So for the front turn signals, I'm going with the same thing that we've been planning uh, for a while. There's these small LED bullet style side mirrors. I actually had these because they were the ones that were on the rear of my Triumph. Uh, they're just nice quality metal, uh, you know, LED, nothing too crazy. Uh, so we decided to go with that. For the brake light, I went round and around and around to try and figure out what I wanted to do. Originally, I was going to go with these. These are a brake light and tail light combo. Um, but one, I don't really like the design because they're kind of pointy and it just doesn't really fit the rest of the bike. So that was the first strike against them. And then the second one is I actually hooked these up to a battery and they are super dim. I mean, barely visible in, in daylight and I don't want to build a bike that's unsafe to ride because you can't see the brake light. So these are uh, going to be just thrown in the in the bin for now. Um, you know, we may be able to figure out something to do with them in the future. They were super cheap, less than 10 bucks. So I didn't expect them to be great, but I figured I'd buy them and try it out. So what I decided to go with was one of these LED strips. So I put one of these on my Maroon CB550 I built a couple of bikes ago. Um, they're inexpensive, they're like $15, but they're bright. They have integrated brake light, tail light, and turn signals. Um, but what I am not going to do is just stick it to the rear frame hoop. Um, I think that's a little bit on the ghetto side to do that. Uh, so I'm coming up with a, uh, a way to be able to detach this light if uh, you know, a future owner wanted to switch it out to a different style or whatever, um, they could easily do that. So let me show you what I'm thinking. So what I'm thinking about doing back here is I cut a piece of metal and bent it to match um, the arc of the frame hoop. And then, so the tail light will be attached to that, kind of like this. And then that'll go right there. And this piece, I bent up a little bit, still got work to do, but we'll kind of slide underneath. It'll actually end up getting welded and ground um, to the bottom of that bracket. And then that will go up, hug the bottom of the seat, and then mount to the center uh, seat mount right here. So we'll just drill one or two holes there, bolt nut through it. That way this tail light will be nice and flush and sit right here, but it'll also be easily removable if somebody wanted to go uh, with a different kind of bigger light on the back or whatever it may be. I just didn't want to stick it straight to the frame hoop. Uh, so that's the kind of what we're going to do now. So what I need to do is figure out the exact position of this, mount this up, tack it, uh, and then kind of make sure everything fits nicely. Then we can finish weld it, grind it, and paint it. Here's the progress we've made so far. So you see the little brackets wrapped around there. It bends up and then goes right back here. So I'm going to drill a hole through both of these pieces. We'll have just a small nut and bolt, and then that. We'll probably do it for the rear bracket. All, all I need to do is paint it, and then once it's painted, then we will stick the uh, tail light onto there, um, make sure it's nice and secure. Might kind of zip tie around the outsides of it, uh, just to make sure the adhesive sticks nicely, and then kind of go from there. A lot of people run it with just the adhesive, so we should be fine, but want to make sure it's as uh, nice as possible. And then the wire will just wrap tightly under here, and then just follow this frame rail uh, into the battery box itself. So all I'm doing for the front is I went ahead and soldered on some factory bullet connectors of the correct color. 
basically I'm just using the headlight mounting bracket with a small black uh, washer. So that's nice and secure. I'll just run the wire straight through. Orange and a green for the left side. And I think it's a blue or light blue and uh, green for the right side. And that's gonna be it. So our bracket is uh, pretty much done. So as soon as I get these finished mounted, we can uh, work on the rear bracket. Then we need to switch out our flasher relay because they're all gonna be LEDs and then we can give them a shot. All right, so I almost forgot one uh, important thing here. And that is how to get your neutral indicator light to work when you switch over to LED lights. Um, so without going into super long-winded explanation, your turn signal indicator has an orange and a blue wire that come off of it. And they go into the orange power for you know the left turn signal and the blue power for the right turn signals. Um, when you use your factory incandescent lights, when you turn one side on, the circuit, um, I believe, gets just grounded through the other side. Uh, but when you switch to LEDs, you do not have that um, functionality. So if you were to just, um, here, I can hook these back up. If you were to just leave everything, you just plug in your power and ground to your uh, two turn signals and then turn it on. I'll show you. You hit either side both turn signals are going to go on and they're getting a little dim because my battery's getting a little bit low but um, I didn't want to have the battery charger making noise uh, while we're in here so what you can do to fix this is you use a uh, diode like this um, I made this myself I have all of the stuff to make multiple of these so if you guys are interested in that uh, throw a comment um, down below and I can just put these on my website uh, you know, just like you're buying a pack of stickers or whatever, and we'll have like secure payments and all that kind of stuff and easy, uh, cheap shipping. You know, I could just put these in an envelope and send them out. Um, you know, maybe call it five bucks a piece. I think they're like 10 or $12 if you buy them on Amazon. But like I said, I just bought all the pieces and made them myself. Um, so if you want one, let me know. But to, uh, to get this to work, what we're going to do is we're going to take one of the, uh, we'll call it the blue one coming from the turn signal indicator. We're going to ground that out so you can just put it into any of these packs um, with the dark green wires those are going to be common grounds and then we're going to take the other wire orange one in this case and that is what's going to be fed power so how this works is power comes in uh, either one of these red wires and then comes out the white wire without letting the power back feed into the other red one. So basically, you know, you can consider this your power circuit for a right turn, this your power circuit for the left turn signal. When that means when you flip them on, the power will go cool, go through, go up and power indicator light, but it will not, you know, energize the other side. So basically the orange wire is gonna get mated up to this. We'll kind of, you know, stick it in there. And then you put a bullet connector on each one of these and put one into the pack of oranges and one to the pack of blues. And that means um, your turn signal indicator will work as well as, you know, when you turn your left turn signals on, all four of them aren't gonna flash because that doesn't do anybody any good. So I will um, kind of button this all up and put my bullet connectors on here, hook it all up. Um, in the meantime, I'll charge the battery and then I'll show you guys uh, how everything works in harmony. And then, um, you know, I'll, if you have any questions about this, you can throw a, a comment down below I, uh, you know, it might be worth making a video about this whole subject, but um, again, this is going to be um, a necessity if you're putting all four LEDs on your bike uh, to make your turn signal indicator work. Got the battery charger going, so hopefully I'll have enough juice to uh, show you what I'm talking about, but um, I got the diode all wired up, just like I said. Turn the left turn signal on. Got left turn signal. We also have indicator, but Notice no right turn signal. Flip the switch to the right turn signal. That's flashing. Indicator's flashing. No left. So it's working exactly as it should, uh, which is awesome. So if you guys are interested in those diodes, uh, let me know. Like I said, I can make them pretty quickly and just put them on my website and then, uh, you know, offer them for, we'll call it five bucks and free shipping in the US. Uh, I should be able to, to do them for that. Um, so, 
yeah, let me know. Uh, we're gonna move on to the back now. I have uh, all the color matched little bullet connectors. So I'm going to uh, pull the LED light, figure out which uh, wires do what, and then uh, made them to the right wires. Got the uh, strip all wired in, just uh, hanging out on the back here right now. I'll throw a card up right now of uh, how to identify the wires and wire them into the factory Honda wiring. Uh, I'll, uh, like I said, I'll throw a card up. It's actually one of my most popular videos, so there's a possibility that you guys came here because of watching that. But um, So it's all wired up, so we'll turn our key on. Key's on, we'll turn the headlight on. Okay, tail light comes on, headlights on. Turn that off, pull the brake. Nice bright brake light. Go for the left turn signal. And now the right. So everything's working as it should. Uh, we just swapped out, you know, our uh, relay that is uh, good for LED flashers. Again, this is in my Amazon affiliate link. Uh, it's one of the links in the description to, uh, to pick that up. They're just a couple of bucks, but uh, your factory um, flasher relay will not work with LED lights. So the only step left is to uh, stick that to uh, our new bracket and bolt it up. So next time you see it, it'll be uh, done and we can see how it looks. There it is, all installed. Super clean, which is exactly what I was looking for. I didn't want a big bulky tail light hanging off so that you know just walking by the bike you'd not really notice it, it kind of blends in nicely but it should be nice and bright so Pop the key on headlight it's got a nice tail light going nice bright brake light working on both switches Left turn signals and right turn signals. Cool. Looks good to me. Let's uh, let's fire the thing up. If I got enough battery to do that, let's see. Fuel on, ignition on. about you but I think she's just about done. That's where I'm going to call it on uh, this week's video, guys. I um, appreciate you following along with this build. It is, uh, I mean, just about 100% done. Only thing I can think of left um, would be a bracket for the license plate. And then um, I've already had a few people reach out to me that want to buy the bike. Uh, I'll ask them if they want to buy it, uh, if they want me to do, uh, kind of finish doing the front fender. If they don't care, then I'm not going to kind of bother spending the man hours on it. So. Um, I think it looks really good. Um, the next video, we're going to take it out and actually, you know, do a proper test ride and uh, take it around the neighborhood, get it through all the gears, you know, do a, a final test ride to make sure everything seems to be working properly. But uh, we're about to uh, put the nail on this one and move on to the next project. So I'm pretty excited. Again, thanks for all the new subscribers. Um, let me know if you guys are interested in um, me providing some of those diodes to you guys um, or a video of a little bit more in-depth description of that. Uh, check out the shirt for, or the shirt. <laughs> Check out the site for shirts and stickers, and uh, I'll see you guys soon.